Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Jessica Jones Season 3 Episode 2 called AKA You're Welcome. So we start off with uh, Trisha's story. So we start off with Trish and her entire story and she... Uh, so we start off with her leaving Jess Jessica's apartment and she's starting to see better and she's starting to have balance but then it kind of kind of works kind of doesn't but um as she steps outside like I said she sees better and so she started to test her powers in training and so we got this whole training montage where she went from bad to great and then after she gets pretty good she starts researching crimes then she talks to her mom and they talk about job opportunities for her to do and Trish really isn't having it she doesn't want anything to do with anything anymore and she leaves and then she listens to this app on her phone that has like a bunch of uh, it's like a police scanner on her phone and so she heads to a robbery but she ended up there too late and the people were in custody already but then she sees uh, Jessica and calls her but she doesn't answer and then she sees this guy steals a phone and she stops the guy with the phone and gives it back to the other person but they both recognize her and so, um, she runs for it and goes to a costume place to go find something. So she's trying all these stupid outfits and none of them really working. And then we see the OG costume, I feel like. I don't know what, um, <laughs> but she's like, then she went, oh, hell no, and just, um, leaves. And then, um, so she's going to use, like, a toboggan, you know, like a, you know, toboggan to cover up her hair and stuff and have sunglasses on okay and then we go to training some more and then as she's training she got served and so she goes to see hogarth and she wants her on retainer and has to pay a fee then she talks to malcolm and we found out that um they stole info from the guy and she moved into the dump place so the mom visits and it's not great, but she's still willing to help her around the apartment. And, like, as far as cleaning. And then she goes to sticking out people and saw a guy roofing a girl. And so she tries to call Jessica because she's not really prepared for that type of level stuff. But, um, of course, um, Jessica didn't answer. So Trish um, stops the guy and talks to the girl. And basically, um, she said that you did this, I did it, I was just here to help. Okay, she, mm hmm So anyway, um, then she listens to Jessica talk to Super, cause she, as she wanted to talk to her, and then, you know, it's getting kind of hard, cause she was talking about Trish and stuff, and like, what she, how she's, you know, feeling and stuff. So Trish leaves, and... She goes back to training and the hurt guy and hurt a guy on accident um, to her trainer. And then they make out and then they see the news of the of a creep. And then um, Malcolm stops by and he pulls some dirt on the guy and it's like really awful. <laughs> a awful information that he got. Uh, so basically he took a kid and raised it as his own. And he has a rap sheet all the way back to high school. And, um, so he got the guy to drop the charges because he was going to call the kid and tell him everything that's, that his dad did. And so they argue, it's like, don't you ever do that again when you're on a case with him for me. And then, um, so then she talks to her mom. She'll take the dumb job, like I said, like a home shopping network type place. And then we cut to where the mom is being very overbearing. And then, um, uh, she, so in the middle of a break from the show, she's researching and wants to team up with Jessica, but she raises the email draft and, um, uh, raises the email to the draft that Jessica saw in the last episode. And then she starts telling the guy in his apartment and sees a safe. And says so she's staying at the hotel across the street. And she's missing calls from Dorothy. I'm assuming that's her mom. Or the person from work. And says so she sees him open the safe. Then she follows him and uh, sees him deposit money. 
Then she enters his apartment and fights him. Then that's when Jessica steps in and everything happened. And then they talk afterwards. Then Jessica storms off. Then Trish is back at work and hugs her mom. Then got a call that Jessica was in the hospital. And so Jessica um, wants the full name of the guy. And we get the name Grant Andrews. Then Trish is upset and leaves because that's all Jessica wanted. <laughs> And that was the end of the episode. Um, I gave this one another A. Um, it was like I thought it was going to happen. I could have, like, I only saw the first, like, ten, like, five or six minutes and then I took a break. And, um, I was thinking to myself, like, I have a feeling it's going to be, like, the first half is going to be on our training and it's going to lead up to, you know, the current events. And I was right. Um, I gave it a a because again a little bit of slow pacing um in the middle which is not that great pretty much why i took a break and um i was like y'all gotta pick it up a little bit but it was still a really good episode and we get to see the evolution of trish discovering her powers um trying to hone them in and trying to execute them well and not doing a great job at it but she's trying so Anyway, um, I really enjoyed the episode and I can't wait for the next one and that's what I'm doing for this video. So like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.